Now, you've likely seen this story all across social media. Caitlyn Jenner made her debut on the cover of Vanity Fair, formerly known as Bruce Jenner. Caitlyn's cover story chronicles her transition as a transgender woman. Before unveiling Caitlyn, Jenner said she preferred people refer to her as he. But now that she's been through the journey, she identifies as she. Many say the Vanity Fair cover of Caitlyn Jenner is a breakthrough for the transgender community. Here in the corridor, we had a chance to learn what others can do to help better understand that population. CBS 2 News reporter Steffi Lee is here with the story. Mm -hmm. Steffi. Well, Scott, Michaela Rolfes is a transgender woman. She says it took her a long time to open up to others about who she really is. She hopes others will follow their heart as soon as possible so they can live the life they want. 60-year-old Michaela Rolfes says from a young age she knew she wasn't a boy. I felt that I should have been a girl. Um, I wanted to be treated like a girl. For more than 50 years, she went by her birth name, Michael, and says she lived her life the way others expected her to. I remember falling asleep at night, um, wishing and hoping and praying that some miracle would happen overnight to turn me into a girl by morning. But in 2010, Rolfus decided not to live a suppressed life anymore and to start the process of becoming a transgender female. I took a good long hard look at myself and I I decided I just had to do this. Despite her fears of opening up, her 28-year marriage to her wife is still strong today. Now she's helping others with her story through PFLAG and Transformations. Both are support groups that help transgender people and their loved ones. It would be almost imperative for anyone who's transgender to get into therapy. Youth can also reach out to several other organizations across the corridor, like Foundation 2. Leaders there say they hope to clear up the misconceptions and words people use to address transgender people. A lot of people still use the word tranny, which is not accepted in the transgender community at all. They also say to address transgender people by the pronoun they identify with, and if anyone is unsure, they should ask. What pronoun do you prefer? What name would you like to be called? Rolfes knows it's tough to take that first step, but says feeling alive again starts with reaching out to others. The earlier you can start living your life as close to yourself as possible, I really think the better off you'll be. Some alarming statistics we also learned today when we visited Foundation 2. Nearly 50% of transgender people will attempt suicide before they turn 20. Rolfes and other group leaders tell me there are plenty of organizations beyond Foundation 2 and PFLAG that can help. Steffi Lee, CBS 2 News, live at 5.